Hi, welcome to Pole Mechanics. My name is Leo and today we're going to change the bearings to the pole link. First you're going to need to take off the cranks and if you have SRAM cranks then you will find these two sleeves inside the pole, pole link. If you have Shimano crank set you will find this inside the pole link. These are the adapters for these are the adapters for different crank sets. First, we need to take off uh, the shock mount. When you attach the frame to the bike stand, uh, as I suggest you use some old uh, seat post for that. Okay. Then we're going to untighten this uh, pinch bolt here. It will lose the bearing uh, on the non-drive side. Then we have this uh, uh, preloader nut. We have a pinch bolt there as well. Let's untighten that one. And then we're going to use two 4mm Allen keys to loosen the pole link. So you have on the other side you have holes on the axle where the allen key can go through. Okay then you can unscrew it by hand place it on there then your, uh, your pole link is ready to be removed. So you need a rubber hammer Give it, give it a few taps on the end. Okay, then you can uh, use an Allen key to start twisting the the sleeve outside. This is a little bit tough. But, or if it's too tight because this is new, you can use a plastic rod in the end of the uh, pole, pole link sleeve and just ha gently hammer it through. To the other end. We can remove it by hand. Uh, on this side you have a, a washer inside, so don't lose that one when you take the pole link out. And the other side as well. So now be careful you don't drop. So this is the pole link sleeve. Place it on the table and then your swing arm will come off nicely. So in the other side you have a uh, washer on each side I mean, don't lose them. And then you will have the swing arm on your hands. On the non-drive side bearing comes off easy and the uh, drive side uh, it depends uh, what's the uh, tolerance here, you can use the uh, this kind of a, uh, bearing puller. We have a sliding hammer. Just uh, place it just a sec. So this is easy job. You just place the bearing puller. Like this, and then you take the bearing out. You can attach the swing arm to the bike stand as well, but for saving time, I didn't do that. So you have the second bearing out. 
So now the swing arm is uh, free of bearings. Let's put it there. Now we're going to remove the bearings from the, uh, the from the front triangle. So again, with a bearing puller. So you have a sleeve inside here, so it needs to be accurate when you put it in. So gently, uh -huh, gently uh, take off the bearing. So this is the sleeve for preload. So you don't, um, when you, you use the preload nut, this will take off the excess preload. So you can't uh, destroy the bearings with that. So now we have taken off three bearings, one to go. Okay, so all the bearings are out. So we have taken all, all the bearings, now we start to install them. Apply a small amount of grease inside, inside there, and then you can start pressing in the bearings. So it is important that you press the bearing inside straight, otherwise you can damage the bearing. So you should use uh, proper tools to do this. There you go, the first bearing is in. Then uh, we will uh, put the sleeve in. So this is really important that you have, uh, you install this as well. So um, uh, if you don't put this one, you can use too much force to damage the bearings with the, with the preload nut, which we're gonna install last. So, you need to install the preload sleeve inside. Okay, so here we go. So when you have installed the BB bearings and you have the sleeve, sleeve inside, so you can make sure the bearings are rotating okay, so you didn't damage the bearings. So then we start, start to install the bearings the bearing inside the drive side. From the other side. Then just press it in. Then you can start install the swing arm. Okay, so first you want to do is uh, install the drive side uh, washer. It's one millimeter washer. It's quite thin, so you just put it inside here and just use your finger to hold it in. And then uh, apply grease to this sleeve. I don't do it because these are new. This is a brand new frame. Okay, so now you can use the uh, 
plastic hammer again tap don't use too much force with this one just so just tap it in okay then we will install the non-drive side put the sleeve uh, the washer in then the bearing then the preload preloader like this then again four millimeter allen keys to the both sides like this Yeah, screw it in. Make sure it rotates. Uh, then use the four millimeter Allen key to tighten the pinch bolt over here. It doesn't have to be super strong to do that then we will install the uh, the shock mount so um and then depending which cranks that you have uh, for SRAM, use the thicker uh, sleeve to the drive side and a smaller one, smaller one to the non-drive side or with Shimano only the thinner sleeve to the uh, drive side. Okay. Thank you very much.